guys, so for my draft, I chose four different sociocultural concepts that I believe embrace my beliefs about teaching and learning. Um, the first one that I chose was authentic social cultural activities, um, and I'll use this in my teaching because I believe it's easier for children to understand what they're learning if they're able to personally relate the content to themselves or the world around them. Um, one way this could be done is by um, using this concept during read-alouds or working one-on-one -on -one with a student. Um, in addition to reading, I think that asking meaningful questions when working with other content areas can give all the students in the classroom a safe space to correlate their own experiences to their learning. Um, by bringing this sociocultural concept into the classroom, my students will be able to understand the material better and relate the content to themselves as they're learning. Um, the second one that I chose was the impact of the specific cultural context on cognition, communication, and being. Um, I'll use this in my classroom to ensure that I create an inclusive, safe, and a welcoming environment for all of my students. With the diverse classroom of students I'll have, I want to make sure that all my students know I'm committed to their academic journey while also celebrating the different cultures that are present within the classroom. Um, I think that this could help my students understand how much I care about them and then I want to celebrate the diversity throughout the classroom. By bringing this sociocultural concept into the classroom, my students will be able to feel value, know that I'm committed to celebrating their diversity, and have a safe space where their diversity and cultures are encouraged. The third sociocultural concept I chose was the importance of dialogue and participation in the formation of thinking cognition. Um, and I'll use this sociocultural concept in my classroom as a way of thinking and learning content within the classroom. I think that using dialogue in the classroom can help students express their thoughts, ideas, opinions, and feelings about what we're learning, which I believe is a great way for students to feel included since they're welcome to talk. Um, in addition to using dialogue in the classroom, it can also help students in their future with their academics, interviews, relationships, and other aspects of their lives because communicating is so important. So integrating dialogue into the classroom has many benefits for students and I think it'll be a valuable tool to use for students' thoughts to be welcomed and for all students to participate in their learning. Um, by bringing the sociocultural concept into the classroom, my students will be able to put their thoughts into words that they will speak about to others and understand how to use dialogue inside and outside of the classroom for a variety of reasons. The last sociocultural concept I chose was self-regulation and promoting self-regulation. Um, I'll use the sociocultural concept to help students monitor, reflect on, and regulate their behavior within the classroom. Um, I think that this is crucial that students learn how to have control of their behaviors so that they're able to complete their work, maintain relationships with others, and be respectful of other students in the classroom. While students may not learn how to do this at home, it's important that I model how to self-regulate for my students so that they're able to use my guidance then eventually self-regulate on their own inside and outside of the classroom. By bringing the sociocultural concept into the classroom, my students will be able to regulate their own behaviors and become better at doing things on their own without someone monitoring them. Thank you.